the map. This video is sponsored by Scribd. When I travel, I enjoy listening to audiobooks. I got Ready Player One from Scribd, and boy, was it good. I also get piano shoot music for my performances from Scribd, and you just might hear another one soon. Sign up today by clicking the link below in the description box and get 60 free days of unlimited books. Value. I'm going to start with the Jade Claws, and we're going to build a Jade Constructed deck, I suppose. I mean, that is just the best card in the deck anyways. Oof, I have two strong cards in a row. Let me go Flamental. Flamento. I think I get a Lightning Storm here. Pretty close. I already have two things that do direct damage, though. Oof, Jade Lightning. Yeah, that's pretty good. This deck is looking pretty strong. Oh, it's Crackling Doom! What?! <laughs> what? No! No, that that must be... Oh, okay, so the Arena Sites didn't actually rate this card yet. That's the only explanation. Not my six-star card, not like this. Lightning Bolt or Mad Bomber? Two drops are pretty hard to come by. And we have two Fire Elementals for dealing three damage. I think I'll choose Mad Bomber. Mm, Blossoms, although it computes with the two Fire Elementals. It claws again! Sarah Knight's decent in Paladin, or Shaman, can evolve it. And it's just a good card. Cobalt? Um, so far I've gotten all strong cards. Holy Aya! Holy Aya Batman. Errol. Oh my god, it's Jade Lightning. Oh my god. It's over. I think we can protect our 4 mana 5 6 behind the Jade Claws and the Jade Lightning. Prince Melkazar, I suppose. That's actually going to water down our deck, but the other cards were really bad. Holy cow, it's another Crackling Doom. I didn't notice at first because the ratings were like that. But Crackling Doom is insane. Oh my god, it's Jade Lightning. Well, with two, with, with two Crackling Dooms, the Devolve is, not, is really not necessary. We have five proactive four drops, if I count Jade Lightning as a proactive card. Which is probably fair. I think I'll take Youthful Brewmaster then. Overload 3 mana crystals to upgrade. Now unfortunately that doesn't work when you overload 10. Like it doesn't upgrade all the way. But that is going to summon two copies of friendly minions probably. I feel like if this deck has a, board, has a minion on the board to copy it's probably already won. And I don't really have great things to copy other than Aya which is of course good. And I have a bunch of extra legendaries in the deck I suppose. I, I suppose if I have two, if I have a card that overloads three mana, it's just fine too. I'll, I'll take it. It's it's probably gonna be the weakest card in the deck by far. Uh, see a jade, pick a jade, redraw proactive. How many crackling doom is too many crackling doom? I don't think it's possible to drop too many crackling doom. It synergizes with itself because you can crackling doom. Holy jade claws! Oh my god! Tidal Surge. You don't want Spiteful Summoner in this deck. Feral Spirit, I suppose. I think we go Volcanosaur here. With three Jade Claws, the Stormforged Axe is quite a bit worse. The Mad Bomber is proactive armor gain, and it's the way I like to think of it when it removes the opponent's minions. I'm gonna pick Bomber. When you have three Crackling Doom, the Volcano is probably not as good. I'll pick the Primordial Drake. Yuggler, Burst, or 6 mana 6-6. Six, six. I have better 6 mana cards, so it's between Knife Juggler and Lava Burst. I am Shaman, and Shaman tends to be slightly better if Juggler due to totems. Now let's pick Juggler. Oh, that was the last pick. This deck is absolutely insane. We are literally cheating with this deck. I can safely say this is the best card. This is this is the best deck I've ever drafted in my entire history of playing Hearthstone. And that's been a while. This actually might be stronger than a constructed deck because it has a card that can't be played in constructed. And I guess I'll give 12 wins. There is just one bad thing about this deck. It has Prince Melchizar in it. And that's gonna water down the deck a little bit.
Well, that's a good curve. Knife juggler and a feral in the jade claws. Casual Sogo. So, a criticism people are saying is that this deck doesn't have card draw. But don't worry, because if the deck falls behind somehow, the Crackling Doom will always be card advantage. Hmm, never lucky. I need one knife to hit the th to hit each of the threes. Or the butt beetle. In that case I want to throw as many knives as possible, so I should totem brew. Elements guide me. Drink with me, friend. There we go. Knife juggler making up for lost juggles. Hmm, that's actually a decent combo. Combo. There wasn't really a point to hitting a 1-1 there. If I hit a 1-1, the other one would have just hit into the totem. It's probably what's going to happen anyways. Oh, Nat Pagel's in my deck, huh? I think we actually are killing Nat Pagel here. Otherwise, that is gonna draw a lot of cards. Waiting to draw the good cards in my deck. Hmm. Uh oh. Hmm. This is very disappointing. Time for Crackling Doom. Unfortunately, I have no follow up, and I should have kept Nat Pagel in my hand.
Time for crackling dip. Hmm, yikes. Let's see, do I want to keep Feral Spirit in my hand? I have two Feral Spirit in the deck and a Violet Illusionist. The number of three drops isn't very high. I guess I'll keep. Blessings to you. Threaten lethal with this plus this. No pause one time? Oh no! It's fine, I can Jade Lightning it. It's actually a good, very good totem for me. Eh, no. Eh, average. No, it was actually the worst one. But I was. Not a bad random legendary. An interesting take uh choice to make there. Buff or no buff. Heal or no heal, I mean. Anyhow, we've actually got Crackling Doom plus big card. If I overload for we can actually go Crackling Doom, Feral Spirit, Feral Spirit, and then the value savings off of the overload. That's that's some amount of value for sure. I must remain hidden to So I think Crackling Doom, Aya Feral Spirit is pretty good. I can play one of them. I guess I'll throw this one in too. Let me 
change your mind. Yeah, good old Sogoth again. I'm gonna roll the lightning storm. Nice. My swing turn is probably Crackling Doom Sogoth. Don't want the 4 4 to just die to the 4 5, so I guess we'll Totem Surge. Crackling Doom Primordial Drake might be okay. The goal now is simply to draw him into the Crackling Doom trap. Sogoth not very good in this situation. Serenite, Aya. That seems like it would make it so that I'd have to use the 7-7 seven, seven against my 2-3. And I kill the... That's fine. As long as I make sure I have a play, the turn I play Crackling Doom, it's good. And Sogoth is the fine play. The longer I wait, the more value I get. Alright, so that Violet Worm has to get killed first. It's pretty good. Wait a second. Resummon this minion, but summon 711 Grubs first. That's actually not going to work. A shame. My turn 3, 4, and 5? I either full molly or I keep two of them. I'm gonna toss them all. Oh man! Okay. That's pretty good. So that new Paladin secret is in. He's probably hovering over it. It's like, what in the world is this thing? Uh, second minion that dies gets resurrected. Keep my eye on the highlighted. He did not choose the second one die and get resurrected. Mm. It's playing the player. Two claws has been valued. It's taken down literally three cards. Well, two cards taken down from the first one. Second Jade Claws has so far taken down one Noble Sacrifice, and this thing will take out a card. And this thing will take out another card, so... Combined, the two Jade Claws have taken out a combined... Five cards. Although that's counting Hydrologist as two cards. 
And then I'm counting one of the cards as a guy. Kill off this 1-1. One, one. He has two coins, so you could always guy, coin coin, spike ridge steed. It's probably not worth it, especially since I intend to play a 6 drop next turn. But with the weapon, I can keep a lot more reach. Yeah, that's good. I kept it around so I could hit that basilisk. Play it super safe. I'm gonna kill one of these. It's the triple jade claws versus the triple hydrologist. I'd rather have the triple jade claws side, but the triple hydrologist is also pretty good. I'm gonna clear the board because because I have Gruel mainly. And jades are growing. Repentance? One moment. He spent his whole turn doing that? What does that mean he has? I probably shouldn't overcommit. Because he's seriously undercommitted. Yeah, let's trade that one off. Have enough to still have lethal on the board, keep the title surge, keep the weapon, flexibility in case all the minions die somehow. No taunt, I win 16, 14, 18. Hey, If we keep now, I have so many Crackling Doom in my deck. But Crackling Doom is probably a good enough card that usually you want to keep it in your hand. I get asked this all the time, like, why play the Jade Claws instead of the Minion? And it's for curve reasons. Warding mm. Dragon, put on the pressure. Death? That would suck. Eh, I'd be okay. This card would- I would be so happy to play this against everything other than Priest. But then there are downsides to playing either of the other two as well. Well played. Elements guide me. Hey, Let's keep the claws around. Well this thing not only is a dragon, so it survives Dragonfire Potion. It's also too big to kill through Dragonfire Potion. Good value exchange there. 
Ну я. Or priest. That's pretty good. He's fighting. Fighting spirit. Let me think about it. So dragon fire potion, if he played it, he would lose. But I'm happy to overcommit on the board. If he played psychic scream, I would get my jade spirit back in the deck, which isn't bad. It's okay, I suppose. Oh, I thought Dragonfire would actually kill his guy, but that's a dragon too. Oops. Uh oh, the throws? Oh my god, that was actually a pretty big throw. by healing himself there. Uh-oh. The mind control? Oh, that would be rough. is pretty good, but he's probably going to trade that 6-10 into 6-6, and he's probably going to summon more stuff. Yeah, I'm going to play... wait a second. Mm. Yeah, play the Gruul, and... Let's see, that would be a 6-4. I could use the Gruul to kill... Sure, let's do this. Yeah, I mean, there's the follow-up on Doom, but I'm counting on there still being pretty good cards in the deck to follow up. Well, he's still got fuel. Hey, not bad. Not too shabby. Ooh, that's pretty freaking good. Jenkins is in my deck. Pretty interesting. I'll push the one extra damage that way. Alright, 7-7 seven, seven for 2 mana, and then I'll copy two seven sevens. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I suppose. Plan to play Tidal Surge. I don't plan to play Mad Bomber. No, I do plan to play Mad Bomber. I'll play it first. 
then hero power title surge. I was hitting either of these lets me hit it with the claw. That way, if there were six damage or five damage area, then one of the guys would survive. Feral Spirit on two, and I pass three, and then four I can play one of these guys into the five drop. I should keep the five drop since it's my best one. This is an okay hand, I'll keep. It's proactive coin two into pass into four drop into five drop. Choose which four drop is better for me at the time. Good answer for my stuff. Oof, yikes. I'm not sure what attack or what that attack accomplishes. Also, did he forget to attack for five? I think he did. Yes, I'm willing to throw a knife juggler into it. I brew back my guy, but no, I need the kill on that five five now. Mm, I can save the juggler. That might be good. I'll probably use the three one to kill my two two anyways. It'd be really nice if I got the taunt totem, I think. There once was a man from Gildas. Holding cards in my hand is pretty good in this deck. Well, one, because I have Primordial Drake coming up, two, because Crackling Doom and then playing guys is good. I'll play this guy while I have lots of guys. Will I play Surviving Mars again? I mean, I had a lot of fun playing it. I feel like I've... I mean, I, I certainly haven't done any of the harder stuff yet. And I could. Uh, just a matter of the expansions right around the corner, so... Lots to do. Crackwing Doom kills Sleepy Dragon. I'm just disgusting. Prefer to not trade him the totem because I'm probably gonna want to roll spell damage totem. I was right all along. <laughs> Enter the shadows. Ooh, it's a combo. Quickly. Means it's a five man, a seven, seven. I have lethal. The answer is almost never, but totem. 
the lightning storm. Three, three, three. Play the aid. Could try a mad bomber lethal. In theory, one, three, six, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think that's still one off even in the most optimistic of situations. <laughs> Root drops, illusionist, feral spirit, feral spirit. I have some really strong 4, so I should probably keep my best 3 drop, which is just the 3 mana 4 3. The legions I command. Nice knife juggler in the Feral Spirit. Okay. We can do the overload chain, I have Juggler and the Federal Spear and the Jade Claws, which will give me 4 mana on turn 5, which is a good number for any number of my Jade cards on 4, which I'm bound to draw within 5 draws, 3 draws, 3, 4, 5. Well, that thing needs to die though. Can't play Feral Spirit into it. Wow, that's a good random legendary. Okay, so on 4 I'll play the 3, and then on 5 I have the 3, so it's pretty good. Or I can play this 3 and then play the 5, that makes more sense. Wow, sad. Sad Hunter. Cute, it's a mini bone drink. Oh, that's a random legendary. We have two fire elementals in the deck and a jade spirit. I keep the brewmaster around for potentially healing one of my guys. I counted the lethal, and Brewmaster would only put 12 on the board. My trade? I mean, the 5-4 would kill the 5-5 otherwise, which would be a much better deal for him. I haven't heard that said in a really long time. Shaman v Shaman Mir. What is this? Let's see, Feral Spirit on three. Yeah, worth keeping. There's only three threes I can play. That's... My deck is too good. <laughs> but he might not know that. I mean, we're both Shaman decks, so it's probably just worth playing as an 8 mana 5-5. Five five. Oh, 
Uh, when I have nothing else to do, I should say. Next turn I'll play Milk. Attack uh, Juggler. Loser Legendary so far. Drawn two pretty bad cards. So far, it's a nice constructed opening by him. Jade Claws, Jade Lightning, Eye of Black Claw. On the coin. Oh my god. Maybe his deck is better than mine somehow? Well, he's drawn better than I have. Pretty unlikely for it to be actually better, but... Maybe you just drew the good half. I mean, if my strongest play next turn is an 8-mana 5-5, five, five, I guess. It's probably gonna be downgrading my deck, though. <laughs> but maybe not. Deck's pretty good. Hmm. Alright, so that's my turn 10, Crackling Doom Yasharaj. Hogwoggle Brewmaster? That doesn't make any sense. My life is your okay, this will allow me to stall. While well, looking like I'm actually doing stuff, but really we're just baiting him into Crackwing Doom. Okay, so I'm blocking a good amount of that damage, uh, especially if I do these two now, but I need to go Yasharaj. Is it time? Crackling Doom Yasharaj? Yeah, that's good enough. By the way, interesting bug, Crackling Doom does not uh, have the text effect of Wrath of Air, but I believe it does go off at 13. That's pretty good play there. Whew. Is he baiting me <laughs> into Crackling Doom? His deck so far, his power level has been really high. Whew! With the 7 7 yades. Dang. Very tempted to hit him in the face. He would just trade trade though. Yeah, I should do this. Feels bad, but... Oh, that's cool. Wow, the risk. Holy cow, that risk. I guess the evolve on the Jade Golem was pretty good. And also the 4 attack wasn't very good against Yasharaj. I think my plan is just to taunt it up. But I want a Death Knight card. 12 puts him in the 5 range, which could be the Death Coil. Wait a second, now I have to leave room. Should hit that. Ooh, 
nice. Wouldn't that be sick? If I were to play Togwoggle, I haven't played most of my jades yet. But he's played most of his jades, maybe. And then I give him all the jades in my deck. Oh my god. Saved? Okay. <laughs> 